What's up, YouTube? This is Big Mike, Mr. Mike Sowell. Uh, I hope this works. I've been having some technical issues uh, as far as I'm loading. Um, a little late, but I want to talk about the game from last night uh, between Miami Heat and Boston Celtics. Uh, I had thought that the officiating would be uh, though not quite as obvious as other games because it would be on the road uh, for the Heat. I thought that there would be you know, certain players getting in foul trouble early for Boston. Key players such as Pierce and uh, Rondo, Garnett. Uh, although Pierce did get into foul trouble <clears throat> and had a pretty poor game, uh, it wasn't... Uh, ticky-tack fouls, you know. Um, I guess the story of the game was LeBron James. Um, had one of his best shooting uh, games I've seen in recent memory. Possibly his best overall playoff performance. Well, no, I, I can't say that. I still think that 48-point game against the Pistons was probably... Uh, given the circumstances, his best playoff performance, but this probably might be number two, definitely top three. Um, he's been averaging, uh, uh, I think, close to, so far, he's averaging close to 11 rebounds a game in this series. And, um, you know, I. A lot of people talk about LeBron and his inability to uh, come through in pressure situations. And there's a lot of truth to that. A lot of truth to that. But I remember a lot of times when he was with Cleveland, and you know, he would perform adequately well. You know, uh, adequately, I should say, in in these certain situations. Um. I don't think he's any worse than other guys, you know. Um, I still don't think that he's as bad in pressure situations as people make it out to be, but he's gotten, uh, historically I should say, but he has gotten worse in these situations. Um, I guess the only thing that someone could say as far as criticism about him from last night is the game was never really close. So if the game was close, would he have hit these shots? Would he have performed? Uh, would he have been hesitant in taking certain shots? Who knows? But um, can't really blame. Uh, if it wasn't for LeBron James last night, he probably would have lost that game. Wade was really pretty much a non-factor. Uh, it was the LeBron James show last night. And... He was starting to hear a lot more talk about maybe Durant was be the face of the league, and you know I guess LeBron had a statement game last night. And, um, Boston just played like shit. They looked old outside of Rondo. Sometimes when I watch the Celtics play, it's like Rondo's playing at one speed and everybody else is playing at another, and I think that it's. About, I think it's gotten to that point where the Celtics, that team, has to be broken up. Um, Danny Ainge should have made some trades a couple of years ago when those guys had higher trade value. Um, and Danny Ainge would have looked like a genius if he had made these trades two years ago. It would have looked bad. I mean, initially, Boston Celtics fans would have been pissed off, but in the long run, that would have been like, you know, wow, Danny Ainge was right. Look at look at Gar Garnett and look at Allen. Look at, you know, uh, these guys now. But, oh, man, I think I see some lean years ahead for the Boston Celtics. Um, I anticipate Game 7 to be uh, a free throw line fest for the Miami Heat. I do, uh, I think that this game will be fixed. 
I think Joey Crawford's going to be there. And, you know, whenever Joey Crawford's there, uh, questionable calls will be made. Um, and I think that the finals is going to be Miami and the Thunder. And there are some slight parallels, I guess, to maybe uh, the 1991 finals with Magic Johnson and Michael Jordan. At that time, um, Magic Johnson was uh, 31 years old. Um, and I believe he was going to his ninth NBA Finals and uh, looking for his sixth NBA championship. As a matter of fact, you know, some people forget that Magic Johnson was 28 years old when he won his fifth championship. 28. 28, and in the prime of his career, um, won his third MVP when he was uh, 30. So, you know, a lot of people forget how good that guy was. But anyway, around 1990, you had two guys whose names were brought up as the best players in the NBA. Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan. By that time, Larry Bird, uh, his back had deteriorated. He was no longer, matter of fact, I don't even know if he, I think 89-90 may have been the year, no, I think it was the year before 88-89 when he played six games, but 89-90 Bird was no longer the player that he once was. That was the first year where it became apparent that he, this guy was not the same. Um, didn't have the same lateral movement. Um Legs weren't the same. Feet weren't the same. Um, that once, um, that once, um, premier jump shot that he had had become bulky. It was he, he had like a. It pretty much became more of a streaky shooter. Uh, I remember some games where Bird looked like himself. Even though I was a kid, I remember watching him. I remember some games he looked like. The bird that people always loved. And then some games he would go 3 for 15. <clears throat> and would miss chip shots. I mean it just. His back was really killing him. But we all didn't know that at the time. But anyway. I digress. Uh, you look at that uh, 91 finals. And that was the passing of the torch between Michael jo uh, Magic Johnson. Who was uh, probably looked at as the premier player in the NBA. And Michael Jordan who was. At that time, a guy who had not had a championship but looked at as the best all-around player. Um, with this situation, neither Durant nor James have a championship. But you could argue that this could, this could be a legacy uh, finals. If Durant and the Thunder win a championship, because we have a star-orientated league, uh, Durant will be looked at as perhaps the premier player in the league. If LeBron finally wins a championship, I think it does wonders for his legacy. Wonders. Um, I think you could then legitimately consider LeBron a top 15 all-time player. And possibly, possibly put him ahead of Kobe Bryant. Now, I know some people will be like, what the fuck? Kobe has five championships. Yeah, but he did lead his team. He led his team to two championships. While LeBron would have led his team to, well, some people might say he didn't lead it, but I'll just say he led his team to a championship. Uh, LeBron has three MVPs. Kobe won. And even though LeBron, uh, Kobe won that, champ, that MVP, I. I think it should have went to Chris Paul. But anyway, um, LeBron is just overall ahead of him defensively as a player, even though Kobe has all those bogus uh, first-team all defense uh, position teams. Um, I don't know. You just you can make the second argument. But anyway, it'll be interesting. I'm getting ahead of myself because Boston has something to say about that. But um, 
for an interesting series and uh, possibly a very interesting, intriguing finals. Peace.